Excuse me, that was my spot. You snooze, you lose. What are you gonna do? Look up! Ah! Kiss it! Put down the beast! Take it like a man! I'm sentencing you to 100 hours of community service that you served together, and I'm stipulating that you carpool. You're on an eye and the victim ridiculous. here. You're on Enough! A... Quarter germ! This car even smells like you. When was the last time you cleaned it? Don't worry, I'll be getting a detail the second you get out. What's this rubbish we're listening to? Classic gold hits from the 70s, 80s and 90s. Hey, that's oh, my music. music. Don't that's touch. not music, it's oral pollution. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the passenger, I get to choose. Right, that's it. What are you doing? Are you blind? The courts may have forced us to do community service together, but I will not be forced to listen to your music. Oh, fine, get out. You get out. It's my car. We're in the middle of nowhere. You're at a bus stop. I'm not getting on a bus. They're disgusting. Then you'll fit right in. Hello? Jack, it's me. Oh, hi. How are you? I'm in mortal danger. The Camel King's dumped me at a bus stop. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not actually here. This is my new voicemail greeting. So, gotcha. <laughs> anyway, if you'd like... Yeah. Yeah, hello, ma. Um, or did you want to talk to Lel or job us again? Check the live on. Shh. Excuse me? Just keep it down, will ya? Yeah, um... Yeah, what job was it? Oi! Well, here in Australia, we speak English. So if you know Reiki, well, you can go home, yeah? So we don't have to listen to you. Seriously, I mean, what's the country coming to, isn't it, mate? Hey, why don't you just leave this country to real Australians, yeah? Real Australians like me. Piss off! You're a disgusting, vile woman. Can't you see you're spreading disease? It is people like you that have ruined public transport, turning it into a vile cesspit. I will not let you subject us all to such filth. Get out. Spout your sickness elsewhere. Well, here they come. Here they come. Have you? Well, here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Why not you, Habib? Here they come. So passionate. Oh my god, Elias. Maddie's mum's gone viral. Look. What is she, germaphobe? Not just Germans, Libs, Asians. She's even defending this one here. Uh, hey, Dad, Mrs. O's abused the racist. You should call Maddie. Why? For something to talk about. You haven't gotten over her, have you? Yes, I have. Thought I made that clear. She's obviously moved on, so have I. Good. When the truth comes out, the whole world will see what a fraud this woman is. I'm looking for Maryam Habib. Oh, yes, darling, that's me. Oh, thank God. Thank you so much. I had no one else to go to. The thief just opened the taxi door, grabbed my bag and ran away. Um, so anyways, how did you find out about us? Oh, my mother is a friend of Auntie Basim's. This is my second cousin. Oh. She gave my mother your address just in case something went wrong while on holiday here. Luckily, I had your details in my purse. Didn't you say your purse was stolen? I always keep a spare, smaller purse for such emergencies. Ah, the double purse trick, huh? Not bad. You're very sweet, Doofy. <laughs> 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 well, you're safe now, and you're welcome to stay as long as you need. 
Are you sure it's no trouble? The embassy said it shouldn't take long to reissue my passport. Don't be silly. There's plenty of room. Especially my king single. You're all very generous. What's that smell? This has always got over a million views already. Set us a turtle on a trampoline. Bonjour. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> I hope you like French turfs. I learned how to make it when I studied life throwing in Paris. Lebanese food gets so boring. Studying packs. You let a cool oh, see you found my apron. <laughs> You're very good. <laughs> Nearly as good as me. Actually, she's better. Sorry, Ma, but he's right. It makes me question everything I've learned to be true in this world. I should give this to Mr. Habib. Oh. Never gonna happen. What the hell is this rubbish? At least your father knows not to bite the hand that normally feeds him. Oh, sis, I will not let you subject us all to such filth. Get out. Spout your sickness elsewhere. Absolutely away. rubbish. Gee, that is just extraordinary. Strange, strange, isn't it? Now tell me, Olivia, were you ever afraid for your life? Not just mine, but the other passengers were also at risk. Who knows what that woman had? Luckily, I had a small bottle of hand sanitizer. Uh, here's the thing, the video has had more than a million hits. Why do you think it's resonated with the public so much? Simple, Carl. People are tired of this disgusting behavior. Mm. So I just wanted to create awareness. And when your program contacted me about the virus video, oh, I viral. thought, I'm sorry? Mm. Viral video, viral, yeah. you said virus. Well, yes, this woman could have easily spread her virus, which is why I stepped in. Mm. Uh, oh, so you see racism as a virus. That's positive. Racism? Hmm. Well, it implies that there's a cure as well. I mean, there's something very positive in that. Well, at least it's saying it's good to see someone finally putting their foot down and saying, yeah. no, more. Well, someone had to. There is no place for racial intolerance in this country. <laughs> Liar! This woman, she is bad. Oh, oh, she's full of it. Pretending to be someone she's not. Me? Who would do such a thing? I've never been one to do to myself. Where's my kombucha? No, throw it out. Why? It had fungus growing on top. Just drink gin like a normal person. Okay, take it a bit. Ah, my darling crusader hath returned. <laughs> I just got off the phone to the Racial Harmony Party and, brace yourself, they want you to join. They saw your interview on the Today Show. They think you're a shoe-in for next month's by-election. Think of nothing worse than being a servant to the people. Oh, I don't know. You do remind me of a young, slightly sexier Margaret Thatcher. Certainly do have a type. If it wasn't for my attraction to strong, powerful women, you wouldn't be standing here today, Missy. Well, if it wasn't for free board, I wouldn't be standing here today. Hmm. Power. Hmm. Maybe joining the racist harmony party isn't such a bad Ray idea. Racial. That's what I said. At first I was embarrassed to have a guest standing down my corns, but you doing such a good job <laughs> is the least I could do. Oh. I just feel bad that I'm taking the privilege away from Layla. Yeah. I thought Layla was good with an emery board, but your work is amazing. Voila! All done. What else can I do? Well, Tufik would love to practice his Arabic. Do you mind helping him a little? It would be my honor to oh. teach Tufik a new dance. You can stay like that to him. I, I could teach Elias too, and Layla. You're such a lovely girl, and Lebanese too. This time, this country has gone too far. To call that woman a hero? Don't do anything stupid for me. What's it supposed to mean? Let me rephrase. Don't do anything. What's this? Where did you find that? In your room. You went through Yasmin's things? She knew we were rich. That's why she's here. It's the only explanation for her being nice to Tufik. She even laughs at his jokes. Everyone knows your family won the lottery. Mm, it's not like we managed to keep that a state secret. And if you turn that piece of paper over, you'll see that's where my mother wrote your address. She wanted me to know what you look like. Layla, I think you owe Yasmin an apology. Sorry. It's fine. You're just looking out for your family. Don't touch the hairs. It's what I was born to do. Giving a voice to the voiceless. Brilliant. Well, perhaps you can help Kanye. Oh, I, I don't want to impose. Or maybe Kanye can help me. 
Imagine a multicultural crate I'll get with you beside me every step of the campaign. No, that's not what I meant. Say no. Oh, well, I think it's a we good go, idea. Go. Oh, yes. Well, we won't have a campaign if we don't get cracking. You're right. We're going to need TV ads, an office, staff, you know, security. Hey, oh, well, hold your horse. Think of that as an investment, Jack. As an MP, I'm going to make a fortune in kickbacks, free travel, Olivia, rides. we just got Bonza back on track. We, we, we have no equity. Where are we going to find that kind of cash? The Oliviera. But I love that boat. More than you love me. How many times do I have to say it? It's a different kind of love. Suckling on the public teat. I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. Hello. Hey, oh, Nice accent. You've been practicing. So, uh, what's that? It's called the catch and cook. First you catch the fish, then you cook the fish. Guaranteed freshness every time. You're so clever, Tufik. You should call it the hot rod. Yeah, yeah, the hot rod. It's unreal. <laughs> so, uh, you know a lot about fishing, huh? Well, my papa made a lot of money from it. But he's so tight. My trust fund is only like 100,000. What's yours? Trust fund? <laughs> Dad doesn't trust me with any funds. The only person he trusts with the money is Elias. You know, Yasmin, you're very pretty. Like I mean, out of this world hot. I think you'd be a beautiful trophy wife one day. And I don't know, I'd like to, you know, maybe show you more of what I do. Invite you into two fix what... Yasmin? Yes, mean? Oh, I didn't mean to disturb you. What's wrong? No, no I, I am fine. Come on, what is it? It's just you've all been so kind. It reminds me how much I miss my family. Hey, stay here long enough, or you're going to be glad that we're not your family. Anyway, uh, I don't want to stop you from your studies. Thank you. Studying hard? Always. Who's the slip slop slapper? Can you keep it down? Jeez. Her name's Yasmin and she's from Lebanon. She's very cute. But not hot, not hot like you. Your mum must be thrilled. You finally found a nice Lebanese girl to breed with and marry. There's nothing going on between me and Yaz, OK? She's into Tufik. Really are terrible with the ladies. She's into you. <laughs> Trust me. Hey, she's right. You should go for it. That's enough out of you, lover boy. In times of racial unrest, you need a strong party that unites. A party that unites cultures and brings them together as one. We are the Racial Harmony Party. United we stand for all. We are Same Same. Same Same. Authorised by Jack O'Neill for the RHP. <laughs> then get this Jasmine chick. I show her my hot rod. I tell her I want to be my trophy bride, and she just walks out on me. Bro, chicks don't like guys that express their feelings. And you act like mummy's boys. But I read in Cosmo at the dentist that she's sharing feelings. Yeah, but when was that? Last year? Exactly, bro. Times have changed. Girls this year, they want you to play the game. So, play hard to get, bro. Should be all over you. Trust me. Oh, no. Battling racism in this country isn't easy. In this country. It's hard enough battling it in this street. Which is why I've been talking to the Racial Harmony Party and together we have decided that I will run in next month's by-election. This is ridiculous. This woman has been doing 100 hours of community service because she's a racist. But I have reformed my ways and as a result, the magistrate has revoked that conviction. She's what? Well, that's not fair. Are there any questions? Yeah, how do you sleep at night? No one? That will be all. But one Olivia O'Neill, same same. <laughs> Sorry, 
I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not scared. I'm cool. I mean, I'm fine. I, uh, I just wanted to thank you for this afternoon. I didn't really do much. You made me feel at home. What are you watching? Oh, nothing. Just, uh, David Attenborough doco. Reminds me of a safari I went on in Kenya. So wild. It's beautiful. Dangerous. Turn it up. from a safe distance. Should one sense that the Jews are male? Vote one, Olivia O'Neill. Same, same. Vote one, Olivia O'Neill. Same, same. Yes. Oh, middle-aged Asian gentleman. Sir, please, come. Say hello. In this country, we accept you for who you are. We are... Same, same. You're right, I love. Good on you. Oh, your English is very good. Yes, yes. Oh, this lady with the baby. Please come over. Say hello. Jack? Hmm? Oh, here. Okay, a little bit of that. There you go. Oh, delightful. Oh, look, a black, uh, another gentleman. Oh, hello, young sir. And what might your name be? It's Kanye. Ah, Kanye, meaning praising God, correct? Uh, yes. And with you running for office, I praise the Lord that I'm in Australia and not my homeland. Where have you been? Getting this. It's a Peruvian blowgun. Are you sure you know how to use this? Ready? Quick, shoot! Now, fire! Now, no. fire! Oh. What are you doing? Why are you having a breather? She's there! Wait! What's wrong? Why are you breathing like that? Oh, oh, okay. I'm gonna get it out. Get it. Run. Just hold on, hold on, hold on. The cameras. Oh. You saved my life. And that's my wife. <sighs> All lives matter. I now owe you a life debt. Steady on, Middle Eastern cabby. Plenty to go round. The zoo, what does it look like? We're going for a swim. You should join. Yeah, you should join. You're not swimming in a t-shirt, are you? <laughs> I want to trust that girl. Oh, not this again, darling. My lady is going off like a strobe light in a nightclub. Yesterday, I heard her asking all these questions about trust funds. Tufik told her dad was tight and that he only gives money to Elias and now she's all over him. As long as one of my boys has a chance to be married to a good Lebanese girl from a well-known family. Mom, <laughs> she's making a play for our cash. Layla, her father is a giant in the seafood business in the Middle East. She doesn't need our money. Well, who told you that? I just spoke with Auntie Basima. She has all the village files. Let it go. There's definitely something fishy about that girl. That's for sure. I can feel it in my waters. Bonjour from Australia. Is this uh, Alkali Seafood? I'd like to speak to the general manager. Oh, then the uh, owner, Mr. Lahoud. Yeah, I'm friends with his daughter, Yasmin. Yeah. Is that right? She doesn't exist and flex. Uh, to think, can you please pass me the lotion? 
What? Well, you changed your mind. Enough with the act. Who are you? All you've done since you got here is dig up who's worth the most. Why are you saying this? I heard you ask Tufik about his trust fund. I was just making conversation. And then, when he said that only trust Elias, you drop him by coincidence? Hey, whoa, whoa, she didn't drop me. Did you? You're mistaken. Am I mistaken about this too? Hmm? You lied. Your passport wasn't stolen. I just spoke with Alkali Seafood. Her father doesn't own it. He fishes for them. Can't you see? She's a scammer! Are you even Lebanese? Yes. You're right. I wasn't robbed. The airline didn't lose my baggage. Ha! I came here because I had to meet him. <sighs> I told you, you're in. Auntie Basima is a friend of my mother's. And for years, she would always tell me about this boy when she came back to the village. Elias. Him? His sharp mind, his kind heart. His gorgeous eyes. Him? I couldn't wait any longer. I had to meet you. I'm sorry I lied. I was wrong. I know that now. I shouldn't have come. Him! Please just leave. Hey, did you mean that? I'll get my things and go. You don't have to do that. I just feel so ashamed. And your sister hates me. She kind of hates everyone. I didn't mean for this to happen. You have to believe me. I do. Have you ever stolen a boat before? Maybe. Oh, really? Why? Well, I haven't. <laughs> Old girl's final voyage. Marsalemi. Nice salami. <sighs> well, at least we know that the Commodore will pump her bills regularly. We need to get those campaign funds flowing. I haven't even officially launched yet, and I'm up in the polls. Strike me pink. Where's my baby? She's right here on the front page. O'Neill saves supporters' life. A true blue Aussie hero. No, I, I mean the Oliviera. I mean, there she was. Now she's not. I don't have time for this, Jack. We need to get to the Yacht Club for the campaign launch. Well, we can't go without her. The Commodore's already paid the booty in full. I can drive. My taxi's out the front. Fine. But you know what I'll need if I'm going to sit in that thing. You know you can get arrested for that, Habibi. Germs. That's her weakness. Marion, fetch me the hot sauce. And I say I'm a woman of the people, including this hype below. It really is quite ingenious of you to run on this anti-racist platform, Libby. I mean, if you were an ethnic and tried to spout this rubbish, you wouldn't get your sandaled foot in the door. Being rich and white has to have some advantages. Mm. I'm sorry that you got roped into this. I saw when I left my homeland I'd never be someone's political pawn, ever, ever again. But then your mother, she stole my passport. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we may as well get started. I'd like to garner your attention and welcome you all. Uh, I'd like to introduce a, 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 a wonderful woman, uh, my wife and the mother to my child and soon to be the mother to all the citizens of Australia, Olivia O'Neill. And good to go. My wonderful husband, everyone. Yeah, you know... It takes a village to get to this position, and I'd like to begin by thanking my personal village people, my staff. <laughs> Fufu! How can I help you? Well, I, I just wanted to wish the woman who will single-handedly <laughs> unite <coughs> this country the best of luck. <coughs> <laughs> I 
Nice try. <clears throat> Where was I? There comes a time in the life of a nation. Whoever thought this hot rod would actually work. <laughs> Your, your brother is a, what do you call it, an idiot savant? We just pronounce it idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what? I came all this way and I don't even know... Know what? If you like me as much as I like you. This is crazy. Sometimes life just is that way. No, not mine until now. I've never felt so close to someone so fast. Mm, me neither. There is something about you. Something I could just fall into. That's just something really crazy. Well, crazier than stealing a boat? Mm, yes. Let's just dive right in. Let's just do it. Do what? Something incredible. Welcoming all and sundry to this great land of ours. United we stand, same, same. Right. <clears throat> Livia O'Neill. <laughs> it's gone to. Wet the lettuce. Oi. Fofo! What are you doing? Are you blind? Do you see anyone else in here that looks like you? I didn't realise. This is, uh, the, the signs, they really... There's a rope... Illiterate, are you? Well, let me spell it out slowly for you. You don't belong here. Segregation was invented for a reason, so the likes of you and I don't have to mix. If you don't like it, then take your dirty ways back home with you and leave. Well, <clears throat> um, Olivia. What? <gasps> My mic. Wait. It's not what you think. Tell them. Tell them. It's what you think. If you think I'm getting in your taxi again, then you are as stupid as you look. Why are you following me? You saved my life. I go where you go until I repay my debt. Listen here, you pinecone-scented imbecile. I didn't mean to save your life. It was an unfortunate accident, so please, just leave me alone. Jack! She really is a monster, isn't she? Jack. Forgive me? I want to yeah. leave. I need an Ellen key to undo the lectern. Just get me a taxi. Hey. Pumpkin, it's just that we sunk everything we have into this campaign, and I'm just so in debt. And I, 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 oh, I, just spit it out, Jack. How do you feel about catching a bus home? No! Ow! Ugh. Olivia! Have any of you seen Yasmin lately? Maybe she asked Layla. Did something happen? Where on earth is Elias? Um, being arrested. What? Oh, jail could be good for him. Don't taser him! <laughs> I don't know what happened, but we will be pressing charges. My Oliviera. Elias, what is this? I Did... suppose I should just say sorry again. It's okay. None of it matters. Not now. <laughs> We've got news. You found out your first cousins? We're, We're getting, getting married. married. <gasps> oh, no. oh, thanks, God. Oh, thanks, God. 
I'd better go before my mum finds out I'm here. Mm. Good night. Sleep tight. Hook, line, and sinker. He is all mine. Hey, I'm not a fisherman's daughter for nothing. They've been enemies from the start. We're not moving. Well, neither are we. But now these neighbours will make war with love. Love and you. We should get married. What? The wedding of the century. This is, it's going to be really big. Well, I doubt it's going to be bigger than ours. One final battle. Really? Like big, big, big? Yeah, bigger than big. For happily ever after. Stop that ride! The epic season finale. Here come the Habibs next Monday on 9.